Hello, I'm Joseph Carley. I'm an additive engineer here at Adman in our Fort Myers, Florida facility. Today, I'll be talking about large format printing. Uh, so here at Adman, we're equipped with two Titan Atlas machines, which are pellet-based extruder machines. And there's three things that really set them apart. The size, the material that they can print with, and then the speed and the actual build of the machine. Uh, so first, the size, the build volume of the printer is about a meter cubed or around four feet in each direction. Uh, and then another thing that's different about them compared to a lot of other printers is the material that they print with. So instead of using filament, um, this is a typical filament spool for most FDM printers, they're actually gonna use pellets. Uh, so these are pellets that we use in our Titan machine. And they're very similar uh, to what you'd find in injection molding. Uh, what that allows is a, is, a, is a much wider selection of materials for us to choose from because those pellets are coming directly from a material supplier. Whereas for filament, the material supplier has to send that to another company who turns it into filament. And so that adds cost and limits your options. Uh, so in terms of strength, a very popular material is carbon fiber composites, which are typically up to 20% carbon fiber. With pellets, we can actually print with carbon fiber composite materials like ABS carbon fiber with up to a 35% or some cases even more fiber loading. Uh, the last thing that makes the Titan Atlas machines different is the motion system and the way it's built. So like a lot of printers, it has a very robust build, but it also is equipped with the Yaskawa motion system, which is the same kind of system that you'd find in a industrial CNC. Uh, what this allows is for much more precise and repeated movements with such a large machine. These three things, the build volume, the material capabilities, and the speed and the motion system, all of them together open up a wide range of different applications for this machine that you would not be able to reach with most typical plastic 3D printing methods. So for example, we've done everything from tooling, fixturing for robotics applications for the automotive industry, all the way to 3D printing furniture. Uh, so this chair I'm sitting on, for example, we actually printed here at Adman on a three millimeter nozzle in only eight hours. Uh, whereas something like this on another printer or a filament based printer would typically take several days or longer.